Yo. What up, people? Dude, the dash on my Ford Ranger, it's not even big enough to set the camera on. Right there. I mean, I don't even, honestly, I don't really know what kind of fuel mileage we get in this thing, but it's not good. I mean, it's okay. But it has like a liter, like a 12 gallon tank, not even that 10 gallon tank. So I gotta fill it up like every two days. It also leaks every fluid there is to leak. Power steering fluid, transmission fluid, and oil. Literally everything. But we love it still. I'm gonna get some caffeine real quick. A caf caffeinated beverage, and then uh, I'm gonna go to my parents' house, and I'm gonna show you guys something fresh. A bank account, I, I call it a bank account delete kit, which I'm very good at doing, so. I do not have I do not have time to be making this video right now, but I'm prioritizing what I want, what I think is important, and this is what's important. Just pulled in the driveway of my parents' house, and uh, one thing I want to remind you guys is that 509 just dropped the podcast with me and David, just chilling, kicking it, one-on-one, uh, -on -one. super fun conversation, a lot of backstory and history in that thing, so... Why don't you go ahead and uh, you should probably watch that. You know what I mean? Which would be great. And then also remember to, you know, like the video, subscribe, leave a comment. Love you guys. And uh, yeah. We're here. Jeez, don't slam the door on a classic, Ross. So disrespectful. So uh, I'm actually here because I'm looking for, I'm at my parents' house and I'm looking for a battery pack to take on the river because I'm gonna go on, I'll be on the Snake River like the next four days. But in the meantime, we're gonna do a quick and dirty lowdown of this thing. So literally like four days ago, I posted the, like what the truck was like for the past six months. This obviously didn't just happen, that this has been a work in progress for a while now. And uh, this is the Queen Mary, the beginning of 2.0, the beginning of it. So there's a lot to be done still. But like the big part is done and that is this unbelievable four-wheel camper hawk flatbed mounted on a Norwell uh, flatbed tray straight out of Australia had this bad boy on order for 10 months shout out to four-wheel campers for uh, you know taking care of your boy a little bit and uh, so this thing's been insane kind of just went big I have a buddy who has one not a flatbed version but like a hawk slide in i asked him what features did you not get on your camper that you wish you would have gotten or vice versa and he's just like i pretty much got all of the features and i'm glad i did so that made it very expensive but go big or go home i figured this is like probably the one of the only times in my life that i'm just going to be able to send it like this hopefully not but you know what i mean it's an opportunity that i can just go like use it travel a lot work out of it play out of it all those things so the Hawk just stands for, it's like the six foot base. So it's on a seven foot tray, short bed essentially pickup for like the Hawk. And then they have like the Gramby, which is for the eight foot beds. But Hawk is plenty as you will see once we get in it real quick. While we're outside the truck, it's obviously for you guys who aren't really familiar, the four wheel campers are like the OG kind of pop top camper company. So it obviously pops up, I'll show you that but uh, they've been doing it for a long time and they kind of have their stuff figured out. They like to do things certain ways. Uh, I'm very, very impressed so far. The craftsmanship of this thing is insane. Like even just down to the welds, the way it's wired, just a guy like me just really looks at that stuff. And it's one thing that we changed since the last video, I literally put this stuff on this weekend, is we have, uh, <laughs> I wasn't initially going to, but I kind of may or may not have. I, I upgraded to the pin top system from Carly. Shout out to CJC Off-Road. So I got the pin top system on 2.5 uh, piggyback resi shocks, Carly Springs um, from Deaver. Like they're just like their added weight. So these are the UX, UXD, I think. The truck is now set up to haul 
1,500 to 2,000 pounds at all time. 1,800 to 2,000 pounds at all time. Even like right now, the camper's on here. There's no gear in here. There's no gear in my truck. Nothing on the hitch. There's no water in the camper. So right now it's actually pretty light and actually just like rides kind of stiff, honestly. But by the time I put myself, all my gear, moto, mountain bike, water, everything else in here, food, like it's gonna be, that's quite a bit of weight I add every time I go somewhere. So it should ride good then. And uh, the next step on the outside anyways, is I'm gonna bring my fab, fab skills out of retirement and build a ridiculous bike hauling rear mounted bumper freaking system that I kind of have sketched up so far. That's it right now, the truck sits level, looks good. I'm gonna uh, pop this up real quick and we'll go jump inside. All right, welcome home. We are inside. So, flatbed is obviously a large investment. Part of the reason that I did it this way was still kind of a lot of work. Still, probably more work, honestly. The idea is I'm gonna take this flat, this camper off in the winters and then run a sled, flat sled deck on the flatbed. I'm gonna be honest, I think this truck's gonna be more ridiculous in the winter than it is in the summer because there's a handful of rigs out there that are like this, lots of four wheel campers out there, but not a lot, there's literally nobody running in ridiculous aluminum Norweld flatbed with a truck boss deck on top of it. Like, it's just overkill for sure, but you know how I do it. Here we are inside. So I will be doing what uh, my boy Cam calls a hot boy edit. Uh, like of the camper full like cinematic all the specs like a really in-depth walkthrough of everything because this is a brand new 2022 four-wheel camper flatbed that's just like freaking loaded um you can ask my bank account about that as well so it knows it knows a lot um here we are inside obviously we have the side door entrance right here come in and then this is the front of the truck beds up there queen size bed i like it the, a lot because i have this room to like stand and you know hang out i have room in here behind in the back we have a window we have our uh our dinette diner there's our freaking you know behind we have our seating table little mirror check yourself out make sure you're still you've still never looked better and then i have the upgraded lay flat both dual burner and sink as well so we have sink fridge refrigerator freezer down here right there um indoor and outdoor shower so you actually move this table out of the way hang up a shower curtain and you can shower inside which i have done and it is not that bad at all i've actually taken worse showers inside of vans and campers than this one so and that's just like insane that you just move this what's also cool about it is that bottom piece right there is a drain so you can drain you can put wet gear clothes right there and it'll actually drain out the camper at there as well uh one thing that's interesting about the four campers there's no gray water tanks so it's you know these are designed for like off the grid camping so you pretty much like i will bring a gray water jug to have gray water if there's places where i need to have gray water um that i can't just like kind of dump on the ground so you kind of shift your mindset a little bit on how you haul things and stuff but it's I would much rather do it that way. It just gives me less to manage. Uh, On-demand hot water heater, 20 gallons of water in the camper itself. Then the flatbed also has another water tank in it as well. So I can haul a ton of water. Got two, two, three pound propane tanks as well. So plenty of fuel, plenty of water. Solar up top. So remember what I said about the wiring? Just look at this. Very simple, clean, so well organized. If I ever want to change or modify anything, it's just like right there. You can see what's going on. Then our batteries here, stand by. So batteries, we have dual six uh, volt batteries. So hook together, 12 volt system. The only thing that this camper doesn't have, which I got to figure out, uh, which I'll be modifying probably, is it does not have uh, inverter for my 110 plugs which to charge cameras and stuff like that I do need uh, 
the ability to do that if I'm not hooked up to shore power. If I'm hooked up to shore, I have it all, no worries. Um, but I'm rarely hooked up to shore. Under the bed here, you just lift this up and massive storage. Look at the, just look at the work on those welds. Like, insane. That's what you get. That's what you pay for right there. Um, so, tons of storage there. Tons of storage underneath these seats as well. Obviously, this lays flat. You can sleep here. So, you can sleep. You could sleep in this camper with the top down. So, you kind of stealth camp if you want to. Or if you're just pulling over on the side of the road and you don't want to pop up and you need to take a nap. Boom. You got your spot right here. Storage underneath uh, the sink as well. So, we even have right here a cassette toilet. So if you need to, you know, I actually haven't used it yet to be honest with you guys. Um, I've only had it for a couple weeks now and uh, have not broken in the cassette toilet yet, but when you need it, it's nice to have, if you know what I mean, for sure. So um, that's kind of the inside. I'm probably forgetting a bunch of stuff. It's got, I got fans up top, rain sense fans, uh, vent in the front, windows. These are basically just help it when it, uh, you, you bring the top down, but we've got windows that open all the way up, uh, four windows so you can let a ton of natural light in. And uh, yeah, just really high quality. I'm impressed so far. Honestly, this is just kind of my first uh, Im first impression of the thing. Uh, only had probably like seven or eight nights in it so far and uh, many more to come. It's a big project here, but really excited about it and stoked to show you guys this thing because it's, uh, it's sick. Like I can still, rip down the highway don't even know what's on there um, on the on the f350 so we're hop outside I want to show you guys a few things on the uh, flatbed that are pretty trick as well yes dude already sweating love it um, so behind on the flatbed here we've got a couple roto packs hauling fuel this is like my favorite drawer right here this bad boy opens up on this Norweld huge storage as you can see and uh, this is dust and water sealed so dust proof waterproof uh, if there's some dusty stuff in there and that's because I kind of had it open for a minute in, in like this dusty parking lot and I forgot to close it and it got dusty back there but it is dust and water sealed super high like just the way that hinges slide and everything tons of uh, we have four boxes as well so this will all be outfitted like this one you can see here has a bunch of fluids in it changing oil on motorcycles stuff like that this spout right here it's actually for our water tank on the uh, in the in the flatbed itself so different water tank to haul extra water there and I don't know like I don't know if anybody's ever done it and you guys can let me know if you guys are like plastic tank experts but it's a poly tank for holding water but could I put fuel in that it's vented so I could technically I'm like thinking it would be sick to put different hoses on that and have a fuel cell in the flatbed um, which would be awesome for like winter time motos all that stuff yeah we got an awning obviously because awnings are sick you need those then outside here we have our outdoor shower plug as well so Outdoor shower, indoor shower, everything. Um, same thing goes with the flatbed build and quality. It's insane how good it is. Like the welds, just the fit and finish is something I'm very impressed by. Yeah, I'm glad I went all out now. I still have a lot of work to do on it and a lot of stuff, but that's kind of the gist of it right now. I also did not find the battery pack I was looking for. I think I know where it is at my house. That's all I got. This is what I want you guys to do. Leave any questions you have in the comments for when I do the full in-depth walkthrough of everything head to toe all the features uh just let me know what you guys want to what you want to know about this bad boy yeah thanks for watching i'll see you later